Can you believe we're gonna make a swag like this in under 10 minutes? All right, let's make it together. Hey, Blue Marinos, we're getting ready to make our newest kit. And this time we're gonna make a really neat swag. The swag base this time is a really, really super full bush and it's got a nice sturdy base. So we actually, instead of using this as a long grass bush or a tree, uh, this way, we're gonna turn it over and make it a swag in this way, which makes it really full and lush when we get ready to create this design. In this kit, you're gonna get a couple of bushes um, of these beautiful, they are a hydrangea leaf with berry bush. Uh, that's gonna go great with our grasses. You're gonna get a couple of these, and then you're gonna get two rolls of ribbon to do your bow also. So it's loaded with fun. You can use this any way you want, but we're gonna show you how to make a swag with it. So starting with our base, I want you to think about your bow and, and how much space the bow is gonna take up. And I'm gonna have the bow right in this area, kind of in this general area. But I want a little of this greenery kind of going upward. So take a few of these stems, like a nice little cluster, and just shift it upward. It's that simple, just shift it upward. Take a few on this other side and shift it upward, okay? Now we've kind of got a little bit of that greenery at the top, which I love that. Now what I want you to do is flip it over and make this into a simple little hanger just by giving it a twist and giving it a loop. Okay, now you have a hanger and you have your greenery going upward. And we're gonna be able to secure that a little bit more going upward with the cable tie and a little bit when we put the bow on, but we don't, we don't need to mess with it quite yet. Okay, we're gonna use a full bush at the top. This is just an, uh, just an easy way to do this. Now you're gonna shake hands with this to kind of make sure everybody has their own space. You wanna really, uh, that, you really wanna utilize all this beautiful wired greenery and berries. Now I'm gonna do the same thing I just did on that swag. We're gonna bring some leaves down. We're gonna bring a little berry down, especially this little dangly berry, because I love that one dangling. So bring that down, another leaf down. And so the idea is this part will kind of work out of the bow, and this part up here will work above the bow. So right where we just made that other little area, you're gonna set that right in. And remember I told you don't worry, we're gonna cable tie that in. We're gonna put that all in. Now today, you could use wires if you wanted. I'm using cable ties, they're my favorite, and I'm using white so it kind of camouflages in there. And I'm gonna take all that good stuff right here we just talked about, and we're gonna tie that in really tight, okay? I wanted to hold those top pieces a little better. It's okay. We've got plenty of them. I'm going to go a little higher. Let's go a little bit higher here so we can hold that all uh, clustered. All right. The bow is going to be right here, so you're not going to see any of this. Don't fret. And if you are worried about it slipping once you get it on, I want you to just take your wire cutters like this and pull it a little tighter, and then you can always tack a little glue right there. And we'll do that in just a second. So we squeeze it pretty tight. Like we put a girdle on this puppy. We squeeze it in. It's like a can of busted biscuits right now. It's busting out of there, but I want you to fluff all that because that's really important. Now you're gonna still use all those wires that I talked about, and you're gonna utilize them to spread all this out. There you go and really be deliberate. You know how I feel about the backs of leaves. Flip those around. We want to try to see the front if we can. Okay. And this was the pretty part I talked about coming out of the bottom of the bow. And yes, that'll work just fine right there. Okay, right in the center. And we'll, we'll play with that a little bit more and we'll get our bow on in a minute. Because I want to make this nice and lush and full as we go down. We're going to take our next bush. It's the same bush again. And get two of these bushes this way. This is like a really long swag. I mean, it's super high quality, and I think you're going to love that. Now, I want to take a section of this and just pull it up. This is a great beginner project if you can learn how to manipulate these pieces, or, you know what, if you just like this look, you can make the swag really simple, and you can use some of these other pieces somewhere else in your home. Okay, so I'm going to tuck this up in here, and you see how I made it nice and full? I was tucking it in, and it's really good layered it and tucked it. Now grab your other cable tie. We're going to attach that. We're going to do the wire right here to the base wire. I'm going to kind of do that here in the back. You will not see it. I'm going to go under all these berries. I love this swag base because it's got the greatest berries in there. All right, doing that, I'm going to cut off the excess stem here so we don't have to worry about that. And we talked about putting a little glue on there earlier, so I'm going to pull up my glue skillet here. 
And this just will keep the stuff from sliding around. I'm just gonna take and put a little glue here. I'm gonna tuck this little, you know, the pointy part, like the little chunky part of the cable tie. Just like that. And then I'm gonna take and just put a little greenery right over it. You never stop it. Up here, the boot will be so you'll be good. There's your little hanger. So I'm just gonna tuck a little bit on there. And a little bit there. And that's, that's good to go with our oil. All right, glued in, ready to go. So easy, you're following so far. I know you can do this. Now I'm gonna turn it back around. These swags are some of my favorite pieces to put in my Etsy store, to make for gifts. They're, they make great things to make with a group because they're, they're very simple, but it's very elegant when you get done. All right, next step, that bow. And if you need to know how to make the bow, we'll have the link for you on the supply list for this particular project, or you can ask here in the comments and we'll get you the link for the bow, but we already have it made. So I'm gonna magically bring that over and we're gonna put her in. She's a big, gorgeous bow. You can see how pretty she is. And she's gonna go right here into that zone we left. So we're gonna go ahead and tie her on there right now, right here at the top. And then we aren't gonna be quite done after this. We're gonna have to get the tails in and then I wanna do a little detail work. It's all about the details, the depth, the dimension, and all that matters. I'm going to trim that off. If you asked us if it's a little taller, Colin was not playing when it comes to the detail. I'm going to bring this down in the back. This long tail on this side. Now take this one on this side and come to the inside. So the big long tails, they're partying at the back, right? <laughs> Party on, dudes. Okay, they're in. Now, I'm gonna come to the front where we have our just our regular neutral ribbons and these are partying in the front. And the reason we chose that is because we want the four inches to be, you know, kind of a foundation piece. And you see how pretty it's coming? Yeah. And you're gonna fluff these out. And when you see the finished images, or you might have seen them before you came to this video, you're gonna see how important that is. But isn't that beautiful? Now, you'll notice we have kind of like a, a little zone in here that's a little empty. So we're going to go steal a few pieces from down here and work in that middle zone. So I'm going to start with like this one right here is like a big old hydrangea leaf stem. We're going to take it out. I love that one. That's a really pretty one. And then let's swipe a little bit of this dangly berry. Always my favorite. Let's take a little of that one. And let's take one really big leaf. Which side do we want to take it? How about we just take it from this one right here? So we literally just stole three pieces out of there, that's all we did. And we're gonna work them into this middle zone right here. So just pull that ribbon apart and we're gonna just glue these in very nicely into all this beautiful berry grass because you're never going to know if it's there because this just hides everything so good. So we're gonna take our first leaf, I'm gonna dip it into the glue pot, get a little glue on it, and we're gonna go right here in the middle. Perfect. And we already have these fun pieces going here. And let's layer some grass kind of over that leaf so it blends in nicely. And then this little ivy leaf I'm gonna take out too because that'll go good right here. Hold that off to the side. Okay, let's get this flat piece. We'll put it kind of in the middle. We get a lot of glue on it. And tuck it right in there, perfect. Now my dangly berry right down the center. So basically you just go in there, you steal a couple of these other pieces, then you push the grass around to hide the glue and some leaves. And now it looks like a really, a really full, loaded, beautiful loaded. I'm gonna go by the bow with this one too. And just glue that to the back of the bow. Beautiful loaded design. And, and we're gonna do a little more detail work around the bow because I wanna add a little bit more in there to break the plane of it. So let's grab these berries. Let's tuck those in here. Look at that. Look at this. Isn't that gorgeous, guys? I think it's stunning. I love, love, love it, y'all. Oh my gosh. And wait till you see how pretty these tails look going down your day. All right, Blue Marios, you've got to try a swag like this. You'll be shocked. All right, I will see you next time. You guys go have fun with flowers. Bye, everybody.